I've generally tried to stay away from politics on the channel just because there are other things out there to cover when it comes to pop culture, entertainment, Hollywood, um, and the craziness that comes out of the left coast. But with less than two weeks till probably the most important election in our lifetime, I think it's time to dabble into the political realm just a little bit. And I did that by posting a video yesterday, or it's probably Monday. I'll, I'll put a link into it up here. Um, where Donald Trump, he, he literally broke, he literally broke the Democrats and he broke the internet when he showed up at a McDonald's and, um, was cooking some fries, serving some food out the drive-thru, and just having a good time. Because he showed that, unlike Kamala Harris, who has yet to be proven to work at a McDonald's, I'm not saying Donald Trump got hired at McDonald's, but the fact that he went to a McDonald's and did the things that regular people do, um... It, it literally, like I said, broke the internet and it broke those on the left. And now predictably, we have a response from Newsweek and from some Senate Democrats. Now, if I remember correctly, back in the day, listening to Rush Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh would used to say something to the effect of, I know liberals like that, like I know the back of my hand. And he was always able to predict a response. Well, this response is predictable. <laughs> this is from Breitbart. Democrats target McDonald's for price gouging after Trump served customers. So that's where we're at now. Price gouging. McDonald's is price gouging because Trump showed up there and, and did a campaign appearance. And yes, I know people, oh, it was staged. Well, yeah, of course it was staged. But he did it to prove a point. So here we go. Senate Democrats attack McDonald's on Tuesday for price gouging while it continues to quote unquote grow profits and serve the needs of customers. The letter written by Senators Ron Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, Bob Casey, who's up for re-election this year, and I hope Doug McCormick beats him and he takes that Senate seat, Democrat from Pennsylvania, and of course, Pocahontas herself, Elizabeth Warren, Democrat of Massachusetts, underscores the success of former President Donald Trump's campaign, to stop, campaign stop on Sunday when he worked at McDonald's drive through window in Pennsylvania. They just can't help themselves, folks. Donald Trump does these things and they lose their minds. They lose, pardon me, but they lose their shit. Senate Democrats, however, appear very upset by Trump's success. In a letter addressed to McDonald's CEO, Chris Kipsinski, Kim hope I pronounced that right. The Senator sought information about the fast food restaurants, increases in fast food prices over the last several years and seeking information regarding McDonald's pricing decisions. The letter made no mention of the policies implemented by the Biden-Harris administration that fueled inflation. Of course it didn't. Why would it? They support those policies that have increased inflation. <laughs> this is their letter. While McDonald's is not the only fast food restaurant that has increased prices significantly, significantly in recent years, it's dominant market position as the largest fast food chain in the United States has an outsized impact on American customers or consumers. While working families are trying to make ends meet, McDonald's and its corporate counterparts have continued to grow their profits. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, fast food prices have consistently outpaced inflation, one squeezing consumers who for decades were able to rely on restaurants like McDonald's for a meal at a fair price, However, Americans are now leaving fast food establishments and are increasingly choosing to spend their food dollars on at-home consumption. Um, first of all, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with going and buying groceries and making dinner at home, even though I admit 
we don't make dinner at home a lot, mostly because we don't want to clean up the mess afterwards. <laughs> Uh, since 2020, the consumer price index has increased by 20%, but McDonald's may have increased its menu prices for certain items by substantially more. In a recent analysis of six popular food chains, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out Burger, Burger King, and Jack in the Box found that 27 out of 30 menu items experienced price increases that outpaced inflation. Corporate profits must not come at the expense of people's ability to put food on the table. As we seek to investigate and understand the increased consumer costs in the economy, we hope McDonald's will help us understand why its prices have risen so high. Um, uh, McDonald's. Here, here, is, here is how I would respond to such criticism from Senate Democrats. Dear Senate Committee, in response to your inquiry, it was with the very spending bills that you voted for that caused the inflation that put pressure on us to raise prices due to the rising cost of food, fuel, labor, and overhead. Hopefully this answers the dumbest question we've ever received from members of government. Sincerely, McDonald's Corporation. That's how I would respond to this. Now, that statement's not wrong. Rising cost of fuel. How much has fuel gone up in the last uh, three plus years? Isn't it like, I don't know, 50%? How much has uh, labor gone up? Remember, California, they have $20 an hour minimum wage. What did you think was going to happen when minimum wage went up 20 to $20 an hour. They have no choice but to increase their prices to cover the cost of employees. Why do you think McDonald's now, when you walk into a restaurant, has the kiosks to place orders at now? Why do you think they're experimenting with McDonald's that are almost fully automated? And yeah, I experienced one of those McDonald's. I can't remember where it was at, but I had experienced one of those McDonald's. And quite honestly, it's freaking weird. Um, but enough about that. Let's get to Newsweek because Newsweek, they're mad. Mad Newsweek targets Pennsylvania McDonald's where Donald Trump served customers. Newsweek has smeared the McDonald's in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where former Donald Trump or former President Donald Trump, served customers from the drive through window on Sunday. In an article published Monday, the magazine cited documents that reportedly show the restaurant failed its latest health inspection while also taking aim at the former president. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Trump, a big fan of McDonald's food and self-professed germaphobe, was seen in footage shared by his campaign on social media, putting on an apron, frying a basket of fries, scooping fries, and serving customers through a drive through window. A report from the Bucks County Department of Health after an inspection on March 27 cited health code violations at the restaurant, including employees not having hands clean and properly washed. Okay, so that was a health inspection on March 27. Let's see, that was what? Let's see, this is October 23rd. So that was uh, seven months ago. First of all, has the restaurant corrected those health code violations? Because working in fast food way back when, when I was a teenager into my early 20s, we would health, have health inspections regularly. We'd get our score. We'd get our violations. We would fix those violations. And the health inspector would come back and give us a passing grade. I mean... Everybody's going to have some sort of violation on their health inspection. It's going to happen invariably. It's, did the restaurant take the time to fix those violations in the last, oh, I don't know, seven months? Clips of the visit have not shown Trump washing his hands or wearing gloves or a hairnet. At one point, Trump said his hands were nice and clean. News reporters were, pre were present during the visit. The AP. 
news agency said. Um... Not shown washing his hand. What? Why would they show him washing his hands? Last time I checked, somebody working the French fry window, they don't necessarily wear gloves working the fry window or working the fry station. Just saying. As far as the hairnet thing, to, to quote those on social media who were throwing a hissy fit saying he didn't work there. Okay, he didn't work there. Yes, it was a photo op. Yes, it was staged. Why would he wear a hairnet? Social media users were quick to add their thoughts on the Newsweek report. One person writing, you're mad that Trump made fries, so you're not going after this particular store. Okay, yeah, exactly. You're mad, Newsweek, because... He did a campaign stop in a photo op there with regular people. And so your response is, is to attack that McDonald's. Now they're digging into McDonald's inspections just to take a swipe at Trump. This is how desperate they've become. Yeah, they have. They've become really desperate. Because they know the person on the other side that he's running against is an empty vessel. She's got nothing. She doesn't even have a personality. In fact, she recently did a series of town halls where she knew the questions and still couldn't answer them. Trump nearly broke the internet during his shift at the McDonald's, Breitbart News reported on Sunday. Video footage shows Trump standing near a register inside the restaurant as drivers pull up outside the window to collect their orders. This is President Trump quoting, I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Customer told Trump, you're the type of person we want to be the president. Yes. Following the media's criticism of Trump's appearance at McDonald's, Senator J.D. Vance, who is Trump's running mate, said his time at the restaurant proves he can connect with voters better than anyone else. Vance also dismissed media crit critiques that the event was staged, noting that Trump is a former president who has had two attempts on his life. Therefore, precautions must be taken for him to work at the restaurant. No shit. So to all of you out there on social media there, this was staged, this was fake. Of course, precautions had to be taken. Because of the attempts on his life. You want to talk about staged and fake. Remember that video of Kamala Harris at, at the gas station where they were throwing Doritos at her? How about, how about her stop at the Pamonte Brothers where they cleaned out all the patrons to bring in um, her own supporters? So you want to talk about staged and fake? That's Kamala Harris's entire campaign, staged and fake. He added, it's just the genuine person that Donald Trump is, and that's why I think a lot of working people, even though, of course, he's a successful real estate billionaire, have this emotional connection to Donald Trump. It is important to note that on Friday, Trump said his opponent in the presidential race, Vice President Kamala Harris, has lied about working at McDonald's per Breitbart News. Yeah, that's right. Nobody can find it. Nobody can find any information on um, Kamala Harris actually working at McDonald's. In fact, McDonald's is, has put out a statement saying that it's hard to find records going back into the 1980s. So there you have it. The Democrats, at least one media outlet, they're mad that McDonald's hosted Donald Trump. So what do you guys think? Comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.